name is Transformers 96 here with another video where I'm going to be talking about a newly shown Star a Hot Toys figure, that being Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Before I start on this, I do want to just apologize for the previous video that I posted on this. Um, I actually, uh, this is the second time I'm filming it. The first time I filmed it, I, uh, I had the Star Wars live stream going on in the background because it's Star Wars Celebration. I had it on mute, however, because it was on my computer, I guess my mic picked up the audio from that, as well as the audio from me talking, of course. And, uh, and put them together. So uh, I do apologize and I, I posted it, you know, because uh, I didn't check the video before I posted it. So I do apologize for that. And this is me refilming the video. But let's get started. As you can see, we have Star-Lord here. It is very nice to, uh, to get some more Guardians of the Galaxy 2 figures being shown. Um, Star-Lord's looking quite nice. I have to say that uh, they've gone with a kind of short jacket as well as they are doing a deluxe and standard version. I'm a fan of them doing this. I enjoy to have the option of choosing to get just a standard version for a slightly reduced price or getting a deluxe version with more items for a slightly upgraded price. I think that that's a fair way to go and I think that's quite cool and um, I am happy that Hot Toys has seemed to go into the the direction of doing that. Uh, the standard version, which we're going to be going over first here, has a short jacket, and uh, as you can see, you can unzip it to reveal his shirt underneath, which is quite nice, and the necklaces. Um, I, the, the collar on the t-shirt underneath seems to be a bit high in this picture, which looks odd. I would hope that the final product, you can just kind of pull it down, but uh, um, but that does look a little odd there in that image. But as you can see, you can zip it up, and he also comes with that little backpack piece, similar to what Rocket comes with. And he, of course, comes with his two signature weapons, which are quite nice. He looks great with the rocket there. And he, of course, he comes with the helmeted head with the lights. Um, the helmeted head, I, I believe that it's different. I mean, it, it's obviously different painted. I believe it's a different sculpt than the original one. However, it looks identical to me. I'm sure that there might be some different details on it. But for the most part, it looks very similar. As you can see, we do also have a completely new Peter Quill head sculpt. I do like this head sculpt. I think it does resemble Chris Pratt a little bit more than the first one. The first one I always had issues with, uh, so it is nice to see an updated version version. Um, I, the first one, what I do like, though, is that it has a smirk, which is obviously pretty reminiscent of uh, Star-Lord's personality. This one, he's a bit more serious. However, he kind of has the open mouth. His his uh, his eyebrows are down a little bit, almost quizzical. So, uh, you know, you get a little bit of, of the personality in this, um, in this portrait. However, the original Star-Lord did have a bit more, which I do prefer. However, this one has a better, um, better resemblance to the likeness of the character, which is nice. Yeah, it does look quite good. I do like it. So the standard version, you're going to get the short jacket, the jet pack, his guns, the cassette player with a cassette, and a set of hands, some gloves, some ungloved, as well as a base, and then that cute little baby Groot that's sitting. That baby Groot looks great. I, the, his facial expression is very funny as well. So I do like what you get with this figure, although you don't get a whole lot more with this one than you did with the, um, the original one, uh, because the original one also came with the helmet, the guns, the cassette player, the hands, a, a base light. Like that. Um, the only things new that you're really getting with this figure compared to the last one are um, the Baby Groot, the cassette itself, and then the little jetpack piece. But that's more of a piece on the costume rather than an actual um, accessory. So uh, you don't get a ton more with this guy than you did with the first version, but you still get uh, quite a quite a nice assortment. The deluxe version has a few more things. First of all, he has a longer coat, which uh, more resembles. Um, what his look was in the first film. Uh, so, I, you know, the, I don't prefer the longer coat simply because I have the first film one and therefore it, it's so similar, you know. It, uh, it doesn't feel that special. He does come with the t-shirt, which I think is quite neat. It's, it's neat to, uh, to be able to pose him like this. However, I can't imagine many people are actually going to display him like this. I mean, he just looks better with the short or long jacket. Um, but still, that, that is nice that it is included. As you can see, uh, I, I assume that this one will also come with the short jacket. However, when it shows you all of the items that he comes with, it's not pictured in there. So I'm not sure if the deluxe version, I believe that the deluxe version does come with the short jacket as well as the lawn jacket and not just the lawn jacket, which is nice. Looks quite good there. The The coolest thing about the deluxe version, in my opinion, is this head sculpt, which is the mid-transformation helmet uh, the helmet being put on him um, via, you know, that kind of electronic uh, little burst that kind of spreads around his face and forms the helmet. I think that, that was just an excellent idea for Hot Toys to do, and it's something that really sets Hot Toys apart. Like, I can't imagine another toy company that would think of doing this. Um, so that's just, you know, this is kind of why I like Hot Toys, because uh, they're, they're, uh, they just, they, at least 
in ideal in an ideal sense they do all the things that we could want um, sometimes they don't but uh, for this one that that's definitely uh, uh, that's definitely what I see here the facial expression is exactly the same on the head sculpt it would have been cool if uh, if he was like looking to the other side or something you know just to change up the facial expression a bit but still I love the idea of doing this and it looks quite nice as you can see he's kind of got a little scarf thing going on there too with his coat looking very nice and then there's a closer shot of the Groot that's such a cute Groot that Groot looks like so realistic like had uh, had this Star Lord been wearing a helmet you know you could barely tell if that was like a screenshot from the movie or not and then so as you can see here's the deluxe edition comes with everything that the first one comes with as well as a long coat a, a long sleeve t-shirt and then the um, mid transformation from his face to the helmet so you do get quite a bit with this guy uh, I do like his extra accessories I would imagine I would hope that um, uh, that this figure that the deluxe version isn't more than twenty to twenty five dollars more than the original one I think that if it's thirty or over that's a bit overpriced but I still really do like the items with this exclusive version um, if I was gonna get one of these which I don't plan to simply because I have the first Hot Toys version and I'm very happy with that version and uh and this one is it's so similar like his costume really doesn't change much um, so even though it has a new portrait which I do like it's not worth it uh, for me to get this figure so I don't plan to get it but if I was gonna get one I think that it would be worth the money to splurge splurge for the uh, the deluxe version just because you have more um, options with his look which I think is is really nice and you know more costumes definitely help keep uh, figures fresh which is very cool so uh, I definitely like this uh, it hasn't gone on pre-order at the time of filming but I would imagine it would be two um, that the that the standard one would be about 220 and that the deluxe one would be about uh, 240 I think that that's a fair price for the two of them but uh, there you go that's my thoughts on this uh, Hot Toys Star Lord standard and deluxe figure um, from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 let me know what you guys think of this figure and thanks so much for watching